Hey, Tackle Painter, back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Come on out to the shop. For this Shop Talk Tuesday, just got a few things. Just want to just let you know, give you an update as to what we got going on, as we always do every week out here. Went sniffing around with my wood crafters again this week. And I mean sniffing around because what I was in search for this week was some olive wood and some camphor burl. I'm getting kind of low on olive wood and camphor burl. And I just got an order for some camphor burl on an editor pen, which I'll show you guys here behind me just a little bit. And, uh... Didn't weird anybody out this time. I don't remember if I talked to you guys about this a while back, but uh, last time I went looking for some olive wood, you know, I'm picking up pieces and I'm finding different stuff and some things that have lines through them that look a lot like olive wood, like ambrosia maple uh, will look often like olive wood when the colors are just right. So you got to pick them up. You got to smell them, rub them a little bit in order to get that scent to come up. And what I found was actually this block right here. Now it was originally about one and a half inches wide so when I cut it down to three quarter I got one that was three quarter and then one that was just slightly less than three quarter about five eighths or so and so I squared both of them up and I've got two nice pieces of olive wood on here you can see the nice lines that cut through there it's really a beautiful piece of olive wood really good contrast and the reason why I say sniffing around with that because if you remember olive wood has olive oil in it so when you smell it it actually smells like olive oil it smells like you know your wife out cooking in the kitchen or if you cook in the kitchen you know I won't be sexist but uh, it actually smells like olive oil it smells like cooking and it's lovely it's absolutely fantastic and the other thing that I went in search of was camphor burl and I actually found some really nice pieces and they still smell just wonderful um, this piece was actually one long piece that was about uh, a little larger than three quarter and I got it all cleaned up cut it in half and now I've got two pieces and they've got really pretty pink eyes in them I don't know if you can see those yeah you can see those pretty well uh, really lovely pink eyes that are cutting through there and nice on both sides I clean these up on my my sander real fast and they're just they're beautiful pieces of camphor bro really happy with those and I'll tell you they smell so good. My wife and my son came out to the shop while I was sanding and cleaning those up. And my wife was like, oh my gosh, what reeks? And my son comes out and he's like, dad, what is that? It smells like mint. It's wonderful. And it's like, well, it's camphor burl. You know, it's got like a minty, spicy cinnamon smell. If you guys ever get like uh, spice dots, you know, little gummy candies that have sugar on the outside and they're actually made with spices, you know, they come with cinnamon and mint and all that stuff. Camphor is one of those flavors and it's when you, when you, sand into one of these it smells like opening a bag of those spice dots it's just wonderful absolutely love it so i found those two pieces and then i also found this camphor burl block it's about one and a half inch two inches wide and then like three and a half to four inches long i didn't actually measure it but it's it's a pretty good size and i think it'll make a beautiful bottle stopper i love the colors that are coming out of there and uh, really excited when I found that. It was in a really rough state, so you really couldn't tell exactly what it was. You could see a couple of the eyes here and there. But, man, when you put it up to your nose and just smelled, it just smelled lovely. I was like, oh, that's camphor. I set it right to the side. It's like, that's going home with me. And I love the wood crafters that we have out here in Portland on 6th Street because they've got just this cutoff bin. They just throw all these pieces of cutoff into and uh, you can pick up any piece it's like 250 so it's not real expensive to go through sniffing around the bin and finding pieces that you're looking for sometimes you find pieces you aren't looking for it's like a one-stop shopping there are all sorts of things in there um things of uh, various sizes things of exacting sizes like this one actually was probably cut up for a bottle stopper blank and then it just didn't sell um because it was in its rough state people couldn't tell what it was people didn't know what it was and so when you get to learning what different woods look like, feel like, smell like, the density, you know, the weight of them and stuff, um, you can really find some nice pieces when you go picking around through off bins. You can really score some nice pieces, and that was one of them, that's for sure. One more piece I also found in that bin was this nice piece of Bacotti. Really gorgeous piece of Bacotti. Really happy with that. Um, I sell some of my pens with Bacotti, and this is going to be one that's going to be available. So if you guys want to get a pen in Bacotti, I'll make sure that I have a Bacotti up and available on my pens for sale so that you guys can select that. And if you see one that doesn't have it on there, just message me. I can throw it on there for you real quick. I'm usually pretty fast at replying, unless, of course, I'm asleep or something. And then as I was walking out of the building, I actually uh, just decided to glance through. They've got tubs all along the way of uh, different various woods. They've got koa mill ends. They've got 
uh, miscellaneous turning blocks and miscellaneous um, slabs, and then they've got pieces of domestic woods and exotic woods, and then maple mill ends and just all sorts of different stuff. And I found this one in a miscellaneous turning bin. So the miscellaneous turning bin, you can see it's got the tag right there for the miscellaneous turning bin. And then you look at this piece, it's got a couple of eyes right here. It's not much to look at, really rough texture because it was cut with a bandsaw. But there was a couple of things that caught my eye when I saw it and I could not let it sit there for long. And when you get to looking at wood, even through a rough state, and you really just practice identifying woods and looking for different things and features. Uh, when I saw the burl eyes, that was the first thing that caught, and then I, I looked deeper into the saw marks. A little something caught my eye, and I'll flip this over here, and you might be able to see a little bit of it here. Not too well through the lighting. It's Even though I've sanded up this side, made it nice and smooth, you can start to see just a little bit of it. Let me hit it with a little denatured alcohol and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Check that out. It's got some gorgeous tiger striping going through there, some really nice figuring. Even looks like it might be quilting on here as well. I can't, can't tell exactly which it is for sure, but got some gorgeous striping going through there. And so I was really happy when I got to sanding that because all of that striping just started to show up and it's just absolutely beautiful piece of wood. I'm gonna take this, it's, about eight inches tall and then about six seven inches wide so I'll be able to get plenty of pen blanks out of those curly striped areas and then even that section with the maple burl on the top so check out your guys's local wood stores and see if they've got cutoff bins because you can really score some nice pieces um, this blank being in the miscellaneous turning bin goes for $4.95 a pound and it only weighed just a little under a pound so I got it for less than five bucks you go into a wood store Make sure you throw a little extra time in so that way you can pick through some of those bins and you can find yourself some really awesome pieces. Two weeks ago, I showed you guys some Amboinia Burl that I had gotten in the mail and said that I even had another piece that was on its way. Forgot to show it last week, but here it is. Gorgeous piece of Amboinia Burl. Another really big slab. This one's about 13 inches long and about 8 inches wide. Really a gorgeous piece. Absolutely happy with picking that up. Got that at a really good price. The guy actually offered me uh, lower price than what he was selling it for and so I could not pass that up um, really a nice piece I'm going to get it cut up make some pen blanks out of it and it's thick enough sitting about inch and a half thick I could probably make um, like some business card holders maybe even something else out of it but we will just have to see I'm going to leave it sit around for a while because I've got plenty of Amboinia Burl right now to make the pens orders that I've got coming in um, but we'll see because this is a nice Thick piece with some really good colors. Really excited to have more Amboinia Burl out in the shop. It's one of my favorite woods to work with. So you guys saw behind me a second ago that I had three bins up there. Those are the little tote boxes. I actually use these for all of my um, organizing in my shop. I put pen kits in here. And then when I have orders that I'm working on, everything that goes into that order goes into a little box in order to help me keep things organized. And... Uh, you know, whatever you got to do in order to keep your shop organized, I highly recommend it because you work as much as a lot of us do having a day job, you know, whatever you can do to organize yourself um, because, you know, you get a project done and you often walk away from it because you got other things you got to get to, you know, kids got soccer practice or whatever else, uh, you know, maybe going on football or, or scouts, which my son's heavily involved in, um, you know, you got to organize yourself. And so I've got these little totes, absolutely love these things. We got myself all organized. We got this pen here that we're doing. We're gonna be doing up a piece of Amboinia Burl. Absolutely a beautiful piece of Amboinia Burl. And doing a gold Baron rollerball pen. And gonna be doing the G2 conversion on it. So that's one of my projects this week. Project number two, I've got a piece of maple burl here. I'd say spalted maple burl, but with as thin as this pen's gonna go down, that spalting's probably gonna disappear. Uh, but we're gonna be doing a G2 conversion on a gunmetal editor pen. And then the order that I was talking about that I had the camphor burl, so this is the piece of camphor burl that I selected out for this one. The customer wanted to have some uh, pink tones and so this is what she decided she wanted to have was a piece of camphor burl. So I got a piece that has lots of pink tones for her and then she decided to do that in a gold editor pen. So we've got our gold editor pen there. Gonna be doing a Frixion conversion with that. So we've got our Frixion pen. 
These are actually a really nice pen. I don't know if you guys have ever used a Frixion pen before. It writes really smoothly, um, just like a rollerball pen. And then this one actually is erasable. i would never seen an erasable um, ink pen like this before. You know, I've, you've, I've seen like the cheap Bic erasable pens back in the day when we were growing up in school. And, you know, they were converting us from pencils to ink. And they're like, well, here's some cheap Bic erasable ones. But this is actually a really nice flowing ink pen that's also erasable. Right there on the top, it's got a little eraser tip, and it works really well. So if you guys like those, you know, you should pick some of those up. Or come on by my shop, and I sell the uh, editor pens with this Frixion conversion. I'll be happy to do one up for you. But these are pretty, pretty neat. It's getting chilly out here, so I had to uh, take my door out that I've got an air conditioner cut out in it and put the original door back in. And now I've got my heater running out here in the shop because it is getting just about freezing every single night. Now we've got frost and dense fog and all sorts of interesting wintertime weather rolling through. And uh, so it's getting cold. I got my heater going. I get some stuff turned up on the lathe this week. I get these pens out to my customers and uh, get that going. So I hope you guys checked out my Halloween special that I did, a uh, nice blood pen that we did uh, about a year and a half ago I did that one. But hope you guys checked that out. It had a lot of fun videoing that intro. I did about four costume changes with it. I actually wrote my first script ever for that one. It was a real brief script, real simple, but just explain to myself the costume changes I was going to do because I had this awesome funny joke in my head that I wanted to do for it and so I wanted to make sure that I nailed the punchline and everyone that I've showed it to uh, just thought it was hilarious and laughed really hard and could not have been happier with how it turned out so be sure that you guys check that out I'll throw a card up here in the top and uh, swing by and see my Halloween special one because it was a fun one well, thank you so much for joining me out in the shop this week. Be sure to check out some of my other videos here on the side. I'll throw a subscribe button right up here in the middle in case you aren't subscribed already. This is Tactical Painter out of the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Happy turning.